I, it was for Harvard Medical HMO, and it ended up being one of America's Funniest Commercials, was, which I thought was great. I was so happy about it. And you won a, a house for that, or did you win a prize? Or Oh, yeah, a house and you know, flat screen TVs, everything's what, what was What was so funny about the commercial? Um, you have to see it. It's really no, no, no. What's funny about it? I play. Come on, what's so funny? <laughs> Do the funny commercial, funny lady. I, I don't even remember right now what the lines were, but I play a woman who um, is almost like an automaton. Oh, a, a whole, it was the hold lady, right? Mm-hmm. Like you're stuck when you're trying to get through. You have some sort of medical problem and you get and I, the, Yeah, and I put everybody on hold no matter what. And you're really cold and frosty. But smiling at the same time. Yeah, mm-hmm. I know that feeling. Mm-hmm. I've, I've seen that, Candace, before. You have. <laughs> Fantastic. Also, uh, what else did you have? You had something for MSN, right? You had an MSN sure, commercial? Sure, I've done over um, a dozen national commercials, and one of them was Microsoft, uh, by MSN Microsoft Networks, and I've done is, IBM Is the catering well. really good on the national commercials? Sometimes it is. Sometimes oh, it is. I've heard they just have like mashed taters. Oh, I was on Bad News Bears and I had... Um, Whoa, wait. I was on Bad News Bears as well. Yeah. We were both on Bad News Bears together, the remake. And what did they have every morning? I don't remember. Texan stuff? Come on. They oh, had, fried green tomatoes. And they also had sausage biscuits and gravy every morning. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah, I, because I, the director is a Texan. Yeah. The director of Bad News Bears uh, is Texan Richard Linkletter, or as I got to know him as Rick. And, uh, yeah, it was uh, really cool. And he, he, he was very uh, authentic on the movie, too. He made sure that all the kids could actually play baseball. And the girl that was the pitcher that played, the old, yeah, that played mm-hmm. the old Tatum O'Neill role, she could really chuck it. Sammy was um, a baseball player before she was an actress. Right. She was not an actress as she was hired. She was hired for being able to play. Now, I'm not going to remember the actor in the original. Uh, I wish I could, but he was the same actor who ended up and got nominated like 30 years later for Little Children. He played the pedophile. And he was the actor on the original who played the guy on the motorcycle. I think it was Kelly Leak. Oh, yeah, Kelly Leak. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he did, after that, he did a, he did Breaking Away, which was cool. Mm-hmm. But then he uh, he ended up uh, still still sticking around for little children and playing a pedophile. That's great. Wonderful. It's great to play a pedophile. <laughs> That's great. It's wonderful. It was nominated, though. Mm-hmm. So that was, pretty, that was pretty good stuff. Can we, can we finally talk about our very cool guest? Are we allowed to talk about sure. her yet? Can I go ahead and um, talk about my book real quick? I want to be able to let everybody know. If you can get out your book in. Uh, five, four, four, three, three. Okay. Anyways, uh, I What's wrote a book? book. It's called The Haughty Handbook, A Girl's Guide to Safety, and it's going to be available next year on barnesandnoble.com and amazon.com. And you can also find me at candiskita.com and also at myspace.com backslash the real Kita. Also, I want to let guys know if you want to call in today, our phone number is 818-298-2040. We have an email address. It is info at latalkradio.com. And if you uh, just want to come by and jump up and down in the window, uh, that's a bad idea. We're on on the second floor, so don't do that. <laughs> Can we now talk about our guest, please? Absolutely. Please. I have the most amazing guest here. She is a beautiful actress. Oh, yeah. A beautiful supermodel. Oh, yes. When they talk about a sexy, beautiful yes. Asian woman... This is the person. I'm uh, just so happy for her to be here today. I've worked with her before. She's a great gal on top of it. Great comedian. She makes me laugh. Gina Song. Yay. 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 Hello, How are you G- doing? Good. How are you guys? We Good. Are, yeah, we're, we're quite well. Uh, we're very excited to have you uh, because you and Candace work together on Chuck and Larry. So much fun. Mm-hmm. That was so much fun. It really was. And, you know, the caller was asking about that, so why don't you tell everybody what you thought of it all? Oh my gosh! They the crew was awesome. First of all, it's it's really? hard. Yeah, I heard I heard the first DP was trouble. No, he's no? a personal Gaffer? friend of mine. Gaffer was Gaffer cool. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, they're all cool. Yeah, all right. Yeah, it's 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 hard to come by a crew that's just so uh, nice and gracious to everyone. So it was it was a really good experience for for both of us. Mm-hmm. And um, I. Every single person that sees my resume that says, you know, I I wonder what it was like to work with Adam Sandler. I have nothing bad to say about. Either no, him Kevin or, James. yeah, Kevin James, really, really nice people. I but, sang karaoke with Adam Sandler once. Did you? Eight days of the week. Eight oh, days. that's funny. Yeah. We we also worked with Tila, and we had a great time. Oh yeah, she's great. She's, she's crazy. So, who, Tila who? Uh, Tila, Tila Tila. Thank you. And how many MySpace friends does she have? A gajillion. Uh, yeah. Five gajillion million. 
I don't even know. Doesn't she have the most friends on MySpace right now? Something like that. It's yeah. it's her and Dane Cook, the comedian. Yeah. I think are the two yeah. people that have the biggest um, MySpace really? following. Dane Cook, I didn't know that. But yeah. remember when we were in New York and um, to some guy, we yeah. were walking by the trailers and some guy came up to Tila and she got, and he was like, yeah. "Oh, you're my MySpace friend." And she looked at me. She, she looked she goes, at him like huh? she was like, "I don't know who that guy is." <laughs> <laughs> she totally. goes, "I've never seen that guy before. I don't know who he is." He was I, like, mean, I know who you are. It's just so silly. Like she has the most friends on MySpace, and that's your that's your line to come up to her, you know. It's like you know, seeing the president of the United States. Hey, I live in the United States. <laughs> and hey, you're I know you. There. I've seen you somewhere. She was like, "Who is that guy?" <laughs> yeah, it was funny. I was like, "Okay, that's weird." <laughs> yeah, she's so funny though. We had a great time. And what was her was role? Uh, what was her role in the uh, movie? She was with us. We were she Asian, was... sexy Asian Hooter girls. So is she mm-hmm. is she in this picture that I'm holding up right here? Is that oh, her? Yeah. Yes, that's her. Which, is... which one is she? The blonde. blonde. Oh, she's blonde for this. She mm-hmm. was blonde, yeah. Oh. She's brunette now for a shot of she is. a shot at love. She was telling me she was gonna go brunette. And we'll I said, we'll yeah. post this picture by the way, guys. We'll put this oh. up on our uh, our Hottie Help Facebook. And MySpace. Yeah, so you can yeah, see. Yeah, she was saying, I think I, I want to go chocolate brown. Yeah, and we were trying to talk her out of it. We were well, like, no, you can't, no Asian girl can pull off blonde hair. That's so what you I said to it, her. Yeah. I said, she sure you're did. the only one that could look so hot and you stand out because you're right, blonde. Right, right, you right, should right. go with it, girl. And she did. But you know what? She looks hot brunette, she, too. She's just a hottie. She's absolutely <laughs> hottie. And she just looks amazing that way, too. So we were like, go for it. Yeah. So now, doesn't she have a band as well? Is she playing music? Mm-hmm. Uh, does, she she's a singer. A lot. She actually has a clothing line, too, I think. Yeah. She has her Tila Tequila clothing line. She has um, uh, her videos on, you know, MySpace. She has all her music videos out. And she has a shot at love at Tila Tequila as well on MTV. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That would be, you know, I would really love to hear the safety issues she has having so many MySpace friends. I'm she sure she's had she's, some stories. She said she's been okay because I remember asking oh, her in the trailer. She's, she's a tough cookie, though. Too. I've she heard is. that. She's I've heard like, that. I'll kick your butt. Yeah. <laughs> she's strong. She's a strong girl and it's something to aspire to. She does not take anything from anyone. Really? She does yeah. not care. She, she's sharp. She, I actually think, I remember her telling me she used to uh, be in a gang. Right. She's so she really? from Houston. like a tough, tough, yeah. Mm-hmm. Did she, could she do martial arts? I don't think she can do martial no, arts. No, she could do the but- the, the, the gangbanger martial arts. <laughs> those, <laughs> those are a little different. I want to see those. Those are gangbanger martial arts. Yeah, like but a I, beat it's down. It's a whole new art, yeah. <laughs> I love the fact she's tough because she's small in size. Yeah. You she's know, she's really short. teeny and very petite, but it does not matter because of the energy that she projects right. out and what she projects out is, you know, strength. Yeah. And I don't care what you're thinking of. You know, I'm going to do my own thing. Right. She's great. Yeah. You know, I think that's where she how she's gotten to where she is now. For sure. No, she doesn't take any, any anything from anybody. Yeah. Oh, She's, oh, oop, caller, caller. We got a caller coming in. Let's sure, check okay. this out. Hello there. You are on Hottie Help with Candace Keita and Gina Song. Hello. Hey, how are you? Uh, we're just fantastic. <laughs> hey, I was wondering, my little sister is trying to join MySpace, so she wants to make a MySpace, a Facebook account, and, you know, I'm just kind of worried about maybe questionable people on there. Do you guys have any, you know, tips or advice or anything to get that I could give her to make it a little bit safer? Thank you. That's a very good question, caller. We're going to mm-hmm. cut that caller off because of the carnival sounds that were going on. <laughs> oh, 